John, how are you, brother? Good. Good, good. Tell me what we got here. Well, this is uh, another one of our projects. It's a 1970 Chevelle Pro Touring big block car. Uh, started out with a Roadster Shop chassis, so it's four linked and coil over it all the way around. It's got a 572 GM crate motor with an F1 Pro Charger on it, so it's about a thousand horsepower. Holy cow! We did Holly's uh, new EFI Terminator fuel injection system on it, so it's still, even though it's a thousand horsepower, it's still manageable right. and drivable, right. which is nice. And not bad gas mileage if you stay out of it. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, you'll, you'll get four or five. Maybe. Right, right. That's what I'm thinking. Right. I mean, at least. What do you want with a thousand horsepower? That's it. At least you're not getting miles or gallons to the mile. That's right. Yeah. And how much boost are you running? Uh, this is running about seven, eight pounds of boost. That's not. That's not a lot. What no, kind well, of horsepower that thing got from that 572 got just stock at 620. Oh, okay. So I mean they're pretty stout, just uh, right out of the crate. So. Right. But uh, it's all new, uh, good mark sheet metal. The uh, bumpers are customized pretty heavily uh, with LEDs and stuff in them. Uh, interior is uh, original interior that's been redone with uh, TMI's interior kit, so it gives it a pretty heavy kind of pro touring look with all So that's these. a kit you can buy? That's a kit you can buy, yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. What's the name of that company? TMI. TMI. Too much information. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and these bumpers. Yeah, the bumpers are done in a, um, it's a charcoal uh, Spectra Pearl, so it's got kind of a little bit of a rainbow flake. I can see that. But then with a satin clear coat on top of it. I don't know if y'all can see that or not, folks, how it's got that rainbow, that pearl effect to it. And then inside the trunk, uh, typical fashion, have there to have go. some stereo in there. That's right. So it's got uh, about 5,000 watts of Sony power. I like those, too. I don't yeah, know what they are. Yeah, and just little billet trim pieces. Right. These are actually handles that pull that panel off. Oh, we have storage yeah, yeah, behind that's each cool. one of them. That's yeah. a good idea, because you got to have the handle. Well, you might as well make it look cool. That's right. Yeah, yeah. No sense in putting it so you can put storage back there. You can't get to it. So of course it's a convertible. Everything is everything is new sheet metal. Everything's new sheet metal. New floor pans, quarter panels, doors, fenders, hood, trunk. So this is a typical rusty Midwest car. Boiled it down, it's got a roadster shop chassis, all new sheet metal. Basically, it's a brand new 70 Chevelle. Pretty it much. Never, I mean, outside of what, the dash, the column? <laughs> yeah, the firewall is about the right, only stock right, piece yeah, left. Yeah. Wow. <clears throat> I like what you did with the dash, speaking of that. Yeah, it's got a uh, digital decoder with this uh, instrument cluster in it. Right. You know, and, and then, um, um, you guys need the obviously, Sony in dash piece there. Right. Uh, underneath here in the center console, this is actually Holly's new uh, EFI fuel injection touchscreen monitor. Oh. So you can read any gauge that is on the Holly fuel injection system, you can read on that <coughs> instrument cluster. Can you make any kind of adjustments? Uh, you can make some adjustments on it as well. Right. I'll, uh, I'll turn it on for you here. Oh, It'll yeah, take a second nice. for it to load up. I can but see it's it. neat because... Hey, what's going on in the mirror? Uh, the uh, it's got a navigation system in the mirror yeah how cool is yeah. that who makes that uh that is actually um oh gosh i can't even think of them off the top of my head right now i'm sorry uh no, that's all right. aptronics aptronics, aptronics. That is, is it touch screen it is touch screen yeah so everything here like uh go to navigation it loads up the navigation system can you see it uh, you guess you can see in the sides yes for your rear view mirror when yes, you have correct. it on do you and end up with fingerprints all over it uh, yeah, a little bit, yeah. but you know, they, they wipe right off. Right, right. Oh, I like that. that and then, uh, then you can nice. see all yeah. the all the controls down there. Now we integrated the original shifter into a fiberglass custom console. What's that called? A dual gate shifter? What's that shifter called? That, yeah, they, they call that an H pattern H shifter. H pattern, okay. Man, and you made the speaker covers yep, match. Little billet uh, speaker grills. Did you make those? You bought those? Uh, those are a, a company that makes those. Okay. We bought them and installed cool. them. Now you do a nice job of doing a lot of the work yourself, but incorporating some other people's parts. Yeah. Too. Well, we build this whole thing start to finish, ground off in four months. Holy smoke! So I mean, I you I have know, to. I, don't, I know shops that can't get one in paint in four months, <laughs> let alone build a whole car. Yeah. And use the cowl hood. Yeah. Yeah. Just well, to work. the customer that we built it for wanted the original cowl hood, so that's what we built it on. Yeah. And it is still functional. Yeah. John, I love it. Keep building, brother. 
Thank you. You're the one builder I got to just, I every time you deliver over the top, man, <laughs> That's I can right. count on it. That's right. And, and it's, but style, yeah. not over the top, gaudy, crazy, goofy stuff, but really style with a purpose and, and you really go after something. Well, one of the things that I think we strive for is the detail. You know, I mean, right. the little things that, you know, you might not even catch the first or second time you see the car. But then the third time, like the LEDs in the bumper down here. And oh, turns, oh yeah, look at that. Oh, dude. How'd that come about? Uh, that is actually an uh, original Goodmark um, 70 bumper. And then the bottom uh, part of the bumper is actually a 66 Chevelle bumper cut in half, flipped over and welded to the bottom of that. And then I molded and integrated the LEDs into the, the front of that in, a, in an acrylic tubing. You have started a trend with that. <laughs> I guarantee you have. People are going to see that little feature right there in that in that spoiler and be like, hey, I want some of them lights in my spoiler. Yep. You know, my blinker. Well, it well, makes it look more like the newer cars. Right. You know, that's, does. yeah, it is. And the halo rings, you know, right. kind of, you know, that all kind of came about. I think BMW was the first one that really came up with that look. Right. Dude. John, keep building. I'm going to do a quick seven. walk around and get out of here. Sounds Brother, good. I appreciate it. Thank Thanks you. Thanks so for much. everything. Folks, there you go. That's the, that's the uh, custom shop. Let me get that for you right there. And like I say, a lot of people, a lot of people frown on what he does, and they think he's too over the top and it's too much. But I love him. I'm a big fan of John in the custom shop. He's always on the edge, right? Always on the edge. I mean, look at the emblems, right? That's just cool. So anyways, there you go. 70 Chevelle Convertible Custom Shop. SEMA 2014. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya.